Science is all about integrating and coloring information. To better understand the human digestion, we dissected frogs to look at their anatomy of digestion. But for right now, we're just going to explain some visible structures you can see like right out of the body. These holes here are the external nares. These are the eyes and these are the tympanic membrane. Instead of ears, they use it to hear. The, the frog has a moist skin for a reason. And the moist skin is for, to breathe, since half of it is an amphibian, which breathes underwater. So instead of using lungs, they use this, this thin, the thin layer to breathe. But if it was on land, then it would have breathed with the lungs. Here is the ventral side, where, you, where we would soon open up and cut into and explain the digestion. These are the legs and arms. See, this is the tongue. It starts here, unlike our tongue, which starts like very back of the throat. And, it, and the tongue rolls around. So it's easier to swallow prey. And it also has this really hard edge at the end instead of teeth to like crunch it, just like the same purpose of teeth. And I think it's about time that we cut open. So right now I'm going to cut open the skin first. There's lots of veins here. One flap to the side. So now I have dissected the frog. Right now we can see this brown organ called the liver. It's, not, it's the largest organ of the body. It's not primarily an organ of di digestion, but it secretes a, a juice called bile, which is stored, which is stored right here in this green sack. It's hard to see. This is the stomach, where, where all the chem chemical digestion all happens. Following it downward here is the intestines and here is the large intestines right here where I'm pointing at which is also known as the, as the cloaca. Here is the lung. It doesn't look like a lung right now because it's all flat but if this frog was to be alive, this would be all full of air. That's why there's lots of space here. And right here, and right here is the heart. The two left, right and left atria, which is found on top of the heart. The esophagus, is the part where all, where all the food comes down, which goes into the stomach. Follow it downward to the small intestines, which leads to the large intestines. So the, so the frog digestive system is primarily the same as the, the human digestion with some s differences. Science is all about integrating and correlating information. Now we better understand the digestive systems of human because we now see the, the, di the anatomy of the digestion of the frog. Plus, we don't kill animals for fun. We use them to, under to learn many things. 